Hello viewers, welcome to the third section of the course, VR Build and Run. In this section, we will begin by understanding ways to integrate our Unity project with virtual reality devices, then create Me, Myself, I prefab, and then look at building Google Cardboard. Then we will learn about device-independent clickers and finally learn the workings of virtual reality. Now we move on to the first video of this section, VR Device Integration Software. In this video, you will learn about Unity's built-in VR support, the device-specific SDK, the OS VR project, Web VR, and 3D Worlds. Before jumping in, let's understand the possible ways to integrate our Unity project with virtual reality devices. In general, your Unity project must include a camera object that can render stereographic views, one for each eye on the VR headset. Software for the integration of applications with VR hardware spans a spectrum from built-in support and device-specific interfaces to the device-independent and platform-independent ones. Since Unity 5.1, support for VR headsets is built right into Unity. You can use a standard camera component like the one attached to main camera and the standard character asset prefabs. When your project is built with virtual reality support enabled in the player settings, it renders stereographic camera views and runs on an HMD, the device-specific SDK. If a device is not directly supported in Unity, the device manufacturer will probably publish the Unity plugin package. An advantage of using the device-specific interface is that it can directly take advantage of the features of the underlying hardware. For example, Steam Valve and Google have device-specific SDK and Unity packages for the Vive and Cardboard respectively. If you're using one of these devices, you'll probably want to use such SDK and Unity packages. Device-specific software locks each build into the specific device. If that's a problem, you'll either need to do some clever coding or take one of the approaches like OSVR Project, WebVR, 3D World instead. The OSVR Project In January 2015, Razer Inc. led a group of industry leaders to announce the open-source virtual reality OSVR platform, with plans to develop open-source hardware and software, including an SDK that works with multiple devices from multiple vendors. The open-source middleware project provides device-independent SDKs and Unity packages so that you can write your code to a single interface without having to know which devices your users are using. With OSVR, you can build your Unity game for a specific operating system, such as Windows, Mac, and Linux, and then let the user configure the app for whatever hardware they're going to use. For more information on this, visit www.osvr.com. WebVR WebVR is a JavaScript API that is built directly into major web browsers. It's like WebGL, 2D and 3D graphics API for the web, with VR rendering and hardware support. Now that Unity 5 has introduced the WebGL builds, I expect WebVR to surely follow, if not in Unity, then from a third-party developer. As we know, browsers run on just about any platform, so if you target your game to WebVR, you don't even need to know the user's operating system, let alone which VR hardware they're using. That's the idea anyway. New technologies such as the upcoming WebAssembly, which is a new binary format for the web, will help to squeeze the best performance out of your hardware and make web-based VR viable. For more information, visit webvr.info. For WebVR libraries, check out these sites. For WebVR boilerplate, visit. For Glamgo, go to. For MozVR. And for WebAssembly, go to this link. Next, we will look at 3D Worlds. There are a number of third party 3D World platforms that provide multi user social experiences in shared virtual spaces. You can chat with other players move between rooms, through portals, and even build complex interactions and games without having to be an expert. For examples of 3D virtual worlds, check out these sites. For VR chat, you can visit this link. For Janus VR, go to this link. For Altspace VR, this link. 
and for high fidelity, visit this link. For example, VR Chat lets you develop 3D spaces and avatars in Unity, export them using their SDK, and load them into VR Chat for you and others to share over the internet in a real time social VR experience. Great! In this video, you learned about the various VR device integration softwares. Cool.